Yeah, this video is going on live right now. <clears throat> this is uh, Elder Pastor entitled, <clears throat> Thou shall not follow a multitude to do evil. A response to, IUIC response to Sakari New Covenant Challenge. Now, there's a part in the video where um, Deacon Nakar, not Deacon Nakar, I'm sorry, um, Brother Hassad made a statement about the community. So let's check it out. All these guys, they're, they're a, IUIC is a revolving door. Somebody should do a video on that. You want a topic? IUIC is a revolving door, and I have receipts on it. Don't take my word for it. Go ahead and check it out. Go to IUIC, the Bronx, look at the faces, then go back like 10, 12 years. Totally, a total group of different faces. Yeah, and all those people that came into the IUIC and learned the truth and left, now they have no cloak for their sin. Their sin, like Yahweh Shai said, now they have no excuse. They heard the word. Even though Nate is teaching in the name of God and Jesus Christ, he's still teaching that we are Israelites, and he's still teaching about the laws, statutes, and commandments. So all those people that came in, that revolving door and left, guess what? They, ha they now have no cloak for their sin, no excuse for their sin. So when the judgment comes, they can't say, oh, we never heard, we didn't know. They're, they're, they, they condemn themselves. You know, you're going to find out the Heavenly Father brought certain individuals to be blessed in this thing of ours, but many more to be cursed. Okay? So, check that out. Let's move on. It's ridiculous, man. And it's, that, that's a has to stop. And I think that a conversation between those two brothers, uh, I'm talking about Bishop Nathaniel and Alazar, would, uh, would, would do good for this community. Let, let me know if you can hear this. I'm not gonna do nothing good for this community. Did you hear that? Would do good for this community. Communita. All right, let's say that one more time. To stop, and I think that a conversation between those two brothers, uh, I'm talking about Bishop Nathaniel and Alazar, would, uh, would, would do good for this community. Let, let me know if you can hear this. I'm not gonna do nothing good for this community, and we're not a part of the community, man. Exactly. GMS is not a part of the Israelite community. Yeah, we don't worship Baal Barith. Now here's the site, and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the uh link to this uh information I found. I found this years ago. Alright, proving that Baal Barith, which was a uh an idol that the Is Israelites worshipped, right? Which is in violation of the first commandment, right? That idol, idol was also known as God of the community. Here's the proof right here. This is from, uh, what is it? Joy of Satan or Satanisgod.org. Baal Barif. Barif, as you see here. Also known as Baal Barif. Baal Barif. Baal Tamar. Beal, Buffy, Bullfry. Got a myriad of names, right? Um, we're just going to go right to the point. Baal means Lord. Baal Barif is, is Lord Barif. He foretells the future, discerns the past, and can turn metal into gold. He helps in rising to high places and receiving honors. He speaks with a very clear and soft voice. All right. Uh, Baal Barif is the father of the Yule season. I know Yule is a Babylonian word for child. All right. And the Yule, you had something called the Yule Logs. Because the children were placed on logs and they were sacrificed to uh, these fake gods, such as Baal Barif and, and uh, the other fake god Molech. Okay, all idols that Israel worshipped. All right, in the past, uh, it says here the Christmas tree, uh, as has been stated, was generally at Rome a different tree, even the even the fir, but the very same idea was implied in the palm tree, was implied in the Christmas fir. All right, all of these are heathenistic practices. I get right to the point. I'm just building it up for you. Uh, in Egypt, they worship Nimrod as a palm tree, right? That's why Christmas goes back to the worshiping of Nimrod. A lot of people don't know that. Um, scripture even speaks against the Christmas tree uh, in Jeremiah the 10th chapter. All right, among the most ancient of Baals, he was known as Baal Barif, Lord of the Fir Tree, Lord of the Fir Tree. He evolved into Baal Barif, Lord of the Covenant in ancient Rome, 
where they also worship the fir tree. They call him Baal Barif. Okay, some uh, symbols here. 25th of December was observed in Rome as the day when the victorious God reappeared on earth. Uh, the, birth, the birthday of the unconquered sun. So it goes back to sun worship. Okay. All right. It's a lot of information here. Baal Barif was known as Lord of the Covenant and as the God Barif. He was a popular god and was worshipping Canaan, Philistia, and Shechem. He was the protector of the covenant between uh, Shechem and some neighboring Canaanitish towns, which were originally independent, but were at length brought unto subjugation by the Hebrews. All right. Uh, yep, look at that. Let me blow it up for you so you can see it for yourself. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Baal Barif was also known as God of the Community. The Community. Baal Barif. So we don't worship Baal Barif. That's why we don't give a shit about the community. What are you guys doing for the community? We ain't doing a goddamn thing for the community. That's the answer. All right, the only group we care about, and we don't even like to use the word community, communita. The only group we care about is the hopeful elect, man. The Apostle Paul said, I endure all things for the elect's sake. That's the group we care about, the elect. It's all about the elect. We don't give a shit about the community. I endure. I endure all and that's pretty much the video. Okay. Just wanted to say that right quick. Hey, it is right here. This is the group we care about. Group. We use the word group. We don't use the word community. And you notice, right? All these leaders, these phony ass leaders among these Israelites. And uh, when I say Israelites, meaning outside the truth, these Jakes, right? All these phony ass leaders, they all talk about the community, the community. They all use that word. They invoke. They invoke that word because really what they're doing, whether you know it or not, understand it or not, accept it or not, they're invoking the, the spirit of Baal Barif, that fake idol that Israelites were worshiping, Baal Barif. That's why they use the word community, the community, the community. Second Timothy 2 and 10, therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake. That's the group we care about. That they may also obtain the salvation which is in Yahweh Shai of eternal glory. Yeah, it's all about the elect. Not the goddamn community, man. So the hell with your goddamn community. All right. Baal Barif was also known as God of the community. And we don't worship no Baal Barif. Get it? All right. Next video.